Okay, so uh, with this video, I'm going to review uh, the uh, cross classification method for trip, de trip generation, the first step in the four step process. And it's very, very simple. This is a very simple uh, idea. So let's say that we have a zone, uh, zone number 101, and it has, uh, I know, it has 48 houses that are high income so-called, however we define that. And I know that half of those own three automobiles. So therefore, I know that uh, 48 high-income households times half is the number of households that are high-income owning three autos. So now I also know that households that are high-income owning three autos, on average, make 3.25 trips per day. So therefore, I know that those tw each of those 24 households makes 3.25 trips per day for a total of 78 trips for that category. And let's say I know that a third of the trips made from high-income households are work trips. So I know a third of those 78 trips are work trips made to go from home to work. So there are 26 work trips made from Zone 101. Now, the question becomes, you know, in cross-classification, how do I know that uh, Zone 101 has 48 houses that are in that category? How do I know how many trips are made? How do I know how many of those are work trips? Well, there are two ways that I can find those, those, the answers to those questions. The first is to conduct a survey of households in the larger study area, let's say the metropolitan area of Boston. And I'll ask people, I'll ask different people from, from households, you know, how much do you make? How many trips do you make on average, do you think, per day? How many cars do you own? Right? So I can get, I can get numbers of households in, in these different categories in that way. Or I can use a, a set of graphs that have been put together by the Federal Highway Administration that give, um, give numbers of trips uh, based on uh, uh, national averages. So it'll, it'll, each, each of these methods will allow me to answer the question, how many trips are in each category? How many, excuse me, how many houses are in each category? How many trips are made by houses in these, each category? And then um, what are the different uh, percentages of different types of trips? So for example, home-based work trips. Uh, non-home-based trips and so forth. So let's let's do the first one first, the, uh, the the survey. Let's say I did a collected a sample. This is a very simple sample of of households in a, in a, a metropolitan area. Well, I can I can um, sort these by income and know that the low income is defined as below say thirty thousand dollars. So low income, I can get the average number of trips and the, the average number of uh, autos. Uh, oh, excuse me, average number of trips with one auto, average number of trips with two autos. Low income, okay, number of autos, number of trips. Similarly, for medium, si uh, medium income, uh, let's say it goes from 30 to 40, so, um, so average number of trips with one auto, average number of trips with two, and with high income, same thing. Two autos, well, let's see, there's this one and this one. So the average, of course, would be three. And the other one is um, three and four, so the average would be three and a half. <clears throat> so let's say zone number 48 has 100 low income households with one car. That's the category. That's how many houses are in that category. Well, I know from my, my uh, survey that low-income households owning one car make, on the average, 1.7 trips. So 1.7 times 100 households gives me the number of trips per day made by households in that category. Well, let's say in, in Zone 48, I know that there are 200 medium income households owning two cars. Well, from up here I know medium income households owning two cars make two and a half trips per day on average. 
two and a half times 200 will give me number, the number of trips per day in that category. And I can do that for all of the different categories and add them all up. And that'll give me the total number of trips generated in each zone. Now I can also use the federal highway curves. <clears throat> so for a given uh, zone, all I need to know is the number of households in the zone and the average income in the zone. That's it. That's all I need. So I have a set of graphs that give me percent of households in a category, income category, uh, percentage of those households uh, based on number of autos, um, and, that, and that's it. So I can find the number of households in, in a category, in income and auto ownership category <clears throat> from the curves. And you'll, you'll see an example of that in a minute. Now, the number of trips is based on um, the, the number of households in a particular category again and uh, times the number of households. That's it. <clears throat> so uh, we'll, uh, we'll go through that um, with the graphs. So the graphs give um, a percentage of households in, in different income categories based on the average income. Uh, they give a, a re relationship between auto ownership and percent households in each income category and the number of trips per household okay. and also a percentage of non-home base, home base and so forth. So they give everything to you so I, I can fill out this this table. That's the bottom line. So this is the first graph and we'll go through a, an example of this but let's say I know the average income is $44,000 I can use this graph to find out that there are 51% households are high income. Okay. High income households, well I know that 68% of high income households own two, two or more cars. And I know that for high income households, Owning one car, let's say, there are about 12 or 13 uh, trips per household made each day. And I also know for high-income households that the percentage of home-based other trips is about 48, 49%. <clears throat> okay, so let's do a quick example. Let's say we want to know the number of home-based work trips for medium income households residing in a zone that has 400 households in it and its average income is $44,000. So we're going to use this first graph to find out the number of households in the category. So the average income is 44000 The percentage of households that are medium income is 40%. 40%. Okay. So that's the percentage of households that are medium income. Now the percentage of households in medium income that own zero autos is 4, 2 or more autos is 38, and 1 auto is 58. based on these graphs, that's all. So I can find the number of households in each category, or the number of, uh, yeah, number of households in each category. So uh, households medium income with no autos is 400 times 40% are medium, times 4% don't own an automobile, and so on. So I can go through this and fill up. So now we can take those numbers and put them into a table that looks like this. So there are 6.4 uh, uh, households that are medium income and don't own an automobile. 92.8 households, medium income, that own one auto and so forth. Okay, so now what I want to do is get the number of trips per day per household, an estimate. Okay. 
So we'll go to this next uh, figure here. And for medium income households, I know that for medium income households that don't own an automobile, make two trips per day. One auto, eight trips per day, and so on. Okay. So uh, these are the number of trips per day for each of these three categories. And I can put those into a table as well. So the trips per day made by households in each of these income categories are these, 2, 8, and 13. And now I can multiply the number of households by the number of trips per household to get the total number of trips per day. So 6.4 medium income households owning no autos times two trips per day made by those kinds of households is 13 trips per day and so forth. And if I add those up, they add up to 1,546 trips per day made from those, uh, those medium income households. And I could put this into a table, 13, 742, and 790. I add them up, 1546. So the last step is to find the, uh, uh, the number of trips by trip purpose So in me for medium income households. So I know that the total number is 1,546 trips. And I know uh, from this graph that uh, for medium income households, 17% uh, of them, 17% of the trips are home-based work trips from these, from these graphs. So now I can apply these numbers to that 1,546 trips. So 51% are home-based other so they're going shopping or some other purpose other than work. 51% of them uh, are of that type. 32% are non-home-based trips. That is, they start from someplace else. Uh, and then uh, home-based work. And these represent the, to the number of trips by purpose for in medium income households only. So, and so I've only filled out one column, and now I need to go back and do this for low-income and high-income households as well. Okay.